Hi, my name is Natalie. Um, Phil Brown from the Country Ed Project has asked me to tell you just a little bit about my experience with them and to tell you about how I came to be where I am. Um, you must forgive my voice because I've got a bit of a cold. It doesn't normally sound like this. Um, two years ago I was finishing off my postgraduate course in primary school teaching and um, I was given the opportunity to do a rural placement with the Country Ed Project. Um, that sounded really exciting because it was different. The previous placements that I'd had had all been in inner city schools um, and so I, I jumped at that opportunity. Um, but not, not with the intention to ever work at a country school. I just, I just thought that, that the placement experience sounded, sounded interesting despite the travel. Um, I ended up going to Mansfield. I spent, um, well my placement there was uh, 10 weeks long. Um, I had a great time. I learnt, uh, I probably I had some prejudices going in about um, country towns in general and country schools, but I learnt that they're not necessarily under-resourced at, at those schools. I learnt that the people there um, aren't out of touch or uh, backward, which are some of the very unflattering prejudices that I had. Um, I'm ashamed to admit. Um, I, I was given the opportunity by the Country Ed Project um, to not only spend this time at, at Mansfield Primary School but to also uh, go around and see different types of schools and see different ways um, or different things that teachers do um, around, the, around the country. I spent some time at a a school in the snow fields where the children would go skiing um, if the weather was nice instead of coming into class. Um, I went I went to this school in Shepparton where there's essentially two schools parallel on the same site uh, and one of them caters particularly for the local indigenous population um, and those children um, have been opted into that uh, into that um, project or, or unit um, by their parents, uh, their parents wanting them to um, have that extra um, Indigenous uh, cultural link because the people the people doing the teaching are, are local Indigenous people um, and, and so they have that really strong community and cultural element to the teaching in that school um, which I found uh, very interesting. Um, I also had the incredible experience of going to uh, a school where the children and the teenagers there were newly arrived refugees um, and I met some children who'd been in Australia just, just days. Um, those kids would sort of stay there for up to six months and then be placed in mainstream schools once their English was acceptable um, or not. They sort of had to, had to get sent straight through the system. Um, all of these experiences were eye-opening and fascinating and incredible and I, I loved every minute of it. Um, I learnt so much and really none of those things could have happened without uh, the opportunity for this rural placement and without the dedication and the uh, amazing support and encouragement that I got from the, um, the people at Country Ed. Um, um, I guess the other thing that was really um, um, important about my experience was that I spent. I did it with other people from my course, uh, who were doing the primary school um, course, but also people who were doing the secondary uh, teaching course, and that was interesting in itself because I, we were able to mix and mingle and, and speak to each other about the different ways that you teach in high school and in primary school, um, and I mean that's just an example of um, an opportunity that I wouldn't have otherwise had. Um, so, what's happened now is that. I guess at the end of my course I was then ready to start applying for jobs um, and when I never would have before I looked immediately to country schools um, because of um, the positive experiences that I'd had. Um, <clears throat> I was lucky that my partner was able to come with me, he was pretty flexible and um, we are now living in San Remo um, which is a beautiful, beautiful area um, with a resident population of just a thousand people. Um, near Phillip Island and it's, I've got a really lovely lifestyle here, I've got a, a, a job that I love um, and I just wouldn't have been here without 
um, having gone to gone and done that done that um, placement with the Country Ed Project, as cheesy as it sounds. Um, so I hope that's given you some insight into my personal experience. Um, and anyone in my shoes, I would encourage to to take up those opportunities um, similarly. Thank you for your time.